Hi, welcome to the first demo flight of the new Bayang Toys, the X16, so the first brushless edition, uh, some 22 type of brushless models. It's a big and large model, it's a 350mm quadcopter size, so the same size more than the DJ Phantom or Saima X8. Uh, this quadcopter with everything installed, the camera, the props, the LiPo batteries, etc. Uh, reach close to 700 grams, so it's pretty heavy. Well, fortunately, the plastic quality is good, okay? Well, the landing gears, I don't think will survive to any major crash. They are weak at the extremity point, but they are exactly the same as the Saima, so I guess spare part will be easy to find. The camera is exactly the same as the Saima X8C, so uh, not fantastic. 2 megapixel filming 720p, you have a, a 4 GB microSD card slot behind. Uh, to connect with these 2.4mm jack connectors. Unfortunately, the uh, Saima uh, camera, the XAG, is not working. Well, uh, you have on the battery compartment, you can find this huge 2000 um, 3S, 2200 mAh 3S LiPo, ending with this HXT 3.5mm connectors. Um, so, a uh, lot of room to approximately give you around 10 minutes, even more, I guess, uh, flying duration. Okay, so it's not bad at all. You have a small power switch, but this one is turning only the flying controlling board. As soon as you will plug your battery connector, ESCs will be powered. You have four individual ESCs, good for motor maintenance. Okay, uh, but the general electronic quality, uh, especially the soldering job, is, are, is not fantastic at all. Uh, I've got, for example, one wire cutted, there are uh, one motor's ESC but wire, sorry, uh, disordered from the ESC board, etc. And the motor quality, I don't feel they are very uh, good. Uh, the radio have a power amplifier on the RF ship, so the enhanced uh, 200 meters control range should be true. Um, well, I found that in the roll axis control, the radio is giving some um, incremental step like this, clack, 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 clack. So it's very strange behavior. You will see, especially in, uh, in the second speed, because you have only two speed mode available from the left shoulder button. Okay, this one actually is useless. Here to turn on off the video, here uh, photos. This one is headless mode, and the central return to home. This one is not associated to something as far understood. I didn't see yet how to turn on the attitude or and in fact I'm not sure there is such features with this quadcopter. Okay, so I will uh, power everything and let's go. So as I said, as soon as you will power the battery, connect the batteries, the ESC will be turned on. Okay, so and oh sorry because I turn on also this. Okay, so turn on the FC turn on the radio, you will see a solid LEDs, okay, and it's harm. I strongly advise to uh, calibrate the gyros, okay, as well as the headless mode. For that, you will have to push both stick in lower left for the headless. You have a slow flashing on quadcopters, slow flashing LEDs, and the uh, accelero gyros by a lower uh, right. Okay, we start. In, uh, with the uh, provided 720p camera, start recording, arm the quadcopter, and let's go. I am already in expert mode. Not a trap fast quad capture, but you can feel a lot, a lot of power with the motors. And as I said in the
Okay, I will try the uh, return to home. So this is the central button. Yes. Okay, was correct. Was from my uh, home place. So that's pretty good. Okay, and we land now. I hope I turn on the recording. I hope. Okay, and just to give you a basic footage of the Virgin camera. Recording, I hope. So I installed the Firefly 6S, it's turned on. Yes, so I will power everything. Light calibrate zeros and accelerometers and how um, so you can carry easily uh, an action cam, a GoPro without any problem. such a quadcopter, in case you are losing your uh, control, you have six seconds of potential flyaway before the motor reduces to spin, it's not completely cut the throttle after six seconds, it's reducing to lose altitude. So I am in a beginner mode, it's already not bad, very stable quadcopter, for shooting smooth. The platform is great. You have a lot of punch. You can feel a lot of throttle already with the eight inch props. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's engage the more sporty flight mode now. Yeah, of course, much faster. Control range is excellent. As you can see, after each the end of common, you have some strange erratic behavior. Look, the uh, roll is not continuous. Okay, strange. Anyway, okay, I will land now and fly more with my Devo controller. You will see it's supporting already uh, the Devation TX software. Thanks to the actual Banyang protocol. So it's the same, it's a pretty good news. One of the pro con of this model. It's supporting already an existing deviation fix to protocol. Okay, disarm. And stop recording. Okay. Turn on the camera. Okay. And I will. Off. Sorry, but my Devo controller got a problem. I got a missing NRF, so I got a, a problem. I have to fix it. Unfortunately, I don't have any tools on me, so I won't be able to fly with my Devo here. But um, I already did a small video with, so it's working perfectly. 
and uh, I don't know what's happened. Yes, I got a force contact somewhere. Yes, so I have to fix that. Sorry. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.